Some of you may have heard of a famous saying by a French philosopher, René Descartes, who said, I think, therefore I am. The Chinese equivalent for this could be, I eat, therefore I am. Food, cuisine, and food culture in general is deeply ingrained in Chinese society. And in order to understand China, we ought to learn something about what food can tell us about society. You should think of China as a country full of regions where each and every region has its own cultures. A number of concepts that are very central in Chinese thinking derive from images that are associated with food and food culture. One of the nicest examples is the idea of harmony, the idea that all of us in society you know, should get along with each other harmoniously in the same way as ingredients in a stew or in a soup are well balanced. Food culture, <coughs> the banqueting, is about much more you know, than obviously eating and drinking. It's about instilling respect for the people you dine with. It's about hierarchies. It's about uh, your behavior in public. And it's also, of course, where you judge the character of those people you know, who surround you. Anybody who works in business or who deals with China, either professionally or as a tourist or as a visiting student, will at some point have to learn to sit through a Chinese banquet. These can be extremely convivial occasions, but they are also occasions where your character is being judged. And food culture is also essential, not just amongst the living, but also in the spirit world and amongst the dead. Because offering food, offering sacrifices, is at the heart of Chinese religion. As one poem in the famous Book of Odes tells us, we should all try to get the spirits drunk.